Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound calcium hydrogen sulfite. So let's work from left to right. The first thing I see is calcium. So I'm going to scan my periodic table to see where calcium is. And calcium is in group two. Calcium's right over here. It's represented by a Ca. And all group two elements are metals. They're alkaline earth metals. And they all have a plus two charge. So I know that I have Ca, and I know that they're going to be plus two. They're going to lose two electrons. Now the next part is hydrogen sulfite. I see that it's an ITE ending. And guys, just remember, all ITE endings are always polyatomic ions. They are never going to be on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So I wrote down what hydrogen sulfite is. Now, depending on your teacher or professor in this case, you might see this polyatomic as either one word, as I wrote down here, or you could see it as two words, hydrogen and sulfite, but just know it, it's technically the same thing. So since the hydrogen sulfite one word as being the IUPAC, it's like the more official term, I'm gonna use it in this case. But both of them is always H, SO3 with a negative one. Now, since I have both components, I just crisscross the charges to just say how many of each I have. So this plus two crisscrosses down, telling me that I have two of the hydrogen sulfites. And then this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I have one of the calcium. When you do this crisscrossing, don't worry about the positives and the negatives anymore. We're just using these numbers as our subscripts and like the, how many we have of each, the counting numbers. So now we're ready to write our formula. We have calcium. I have only one of them, so I don't have to write this one. But now here's the thing, guys. If you have multiple polyatomics in which I have two hydrogen sulfites, I do need to show parentheses around the polyatomic. So that's a rule. So I got to put parentheses. H, SO3, I put the whole polyatomic in parentheses, and now I say how many I have on the outside. And now I'm done. So calcium hydrogen sulfite is CaHSO3-2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Tell your classmates. All right. And I'll talk to you later. All right. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. See you later. Bye-bye.